Night Sitting, a scroll by Shen Zhou, represents one of his quintessential works embodying the joy of a mind wandering freely with the far-reaching sky. Created in 1492, its lengthy colophon delves into the transition from the stillness of the external world to the tranquility of the inner realm. In this silence, one seems to hear the voice of the universe, experiencing its profound and serene vastness, ultimately reaching a state where sound and color fade away, the internal and external dissolve, and the self unites with all. Shen Zhou believed that such a state not only captures the essence of the heart but also grasps the principles of things. The fusion of the physical world and the spiritual essence defines what he calls a state of self-contentment. The core idea in Record of Night Sitting stems from his understanding of Zhuangzi's philosophy, wisdom is obscured by noise and brilliance. Echoing Zhuangzi's idea that, words hide in glory, Shen Zhou understood that the obscuration of the soul is not determined by the external world but originates from the turmoil within. When the heart is restless, the world seems noisy, when the heart is still, heaven and earth appear serene. It's not the world that enslaves man, but man who enslaves himself. Shen Zhou realized that the path to self-cultivation lies not in escaping the external world but in finding one's peace amidst the noise and clamor. It's not about rejecting sensory experiences but discovering one's true nature within them. His discourse on the subtleties of the heart aims to liberate from the mutual enslavement of self and world, overcoming the ubiquitous conflicts between man and his environment, and returning to the innate peace of the human heart. This is what he means by self-contentment, finding peace within oneself. Dedicated to the creation of a state where self and object are in harmony and self-contentment is achieved, Shen Zhou discovered this pivotal idea through his artistic experiences and inner cultivation. This text broadly encapsulates the fundamental tenets of his art, helping us to unravel the philosophical depths in many of his poems and paintings. In Shen Zhou's works, one often finds scenes of autumnal desolation, where a solitary figure sits beneath a tree by the water's edge, engrossed in reading. A typical inscription in his paintings reads, As high trees sway in the western wind and leaves fall, I sit in refreshing solitude, lingering long. Idle, I unfold the scroll of autumn waters, unaware of my heart wandering with the far-reaching sky. The poetry and painting complement each other, conveying a clear message. By the clear and sandy shores of autumn waters, reading Zhuangzi's chapter, Autumn Waters, one immerses in the spirit of autumn waters. This chapter, through the dialogue between the river god and the sea god, transcends human fixations on size, status, and knowledge, epitomizing Zhuangzi's philosophy of unity between heaven, earth, and oneself, and the oneness of all things. In his later years, Shen Zhou extensively interpreted the Chinese philosophical concept of the heart wandering with the world through a plethora of poems and paintings, characterized by tranquility and openness. He immersed himself in such a world, as if entranced, in pursuit of spiritual balance and the peace of life. <laughs>